people. Have you noticed strange things happening when you surf the web? Are you seeing scary pop-up windows like this one? Does your home page look different? Or your search results are kind of weird? Or are there new symbols up here in the corner of your browser? If so, you may have accidentally installed a browser extension. This is Allison from Computers.Mom, and we see this problem a lot, so I'm going to show you how to solve it. We'll answer three questions in this video. What is a browser extension and why do you care? How to find your browser extensions and how to remove unwanted ones. Let's start with some basics. You probably already know that you use a web browser like Safari, Chrome, Firefox, or Microsoft Edge to see web pages and websites. A browser extension is a little baby program that plugs into your web browser and gives it added functionality sort of like adding a DVD player to your TV. There are lots of helpful ones that do useful things like blocking pop-up ads, but there are also sneaky ones that might be doing things you don't want behind the scenes, like capturing your personal information. The nasty ones may have innocent sounding names like cookie dough, and they often claim to be helpful with things like maps and directions. Plus, the more extensions you have, even the beneficial ones, the slower your browser will run. So let's get back to the problem at hand. Frequently, when we open a web browser on a client's computer, we'll see something like this. This page looks a lot like Google, but it isn't. And anything I type here is being sent to some other company, which can create a dangerous violation of your privacy. So how do you find and remove these extensions? If you're using Chrome, click on the little stack of dots in the upper right-hand corner. Choose More Tools, and then Extensions. By the way, if you don't see the three little dots, which sometimes happens, don't worry. You can get to the same place by typing Chrome colon forward slash forward slash extensions in the address bar here. As you can see, you don't even have to type the whole thing. And then just press Return or Enter on the keyboard. Either way you get there, that will bring you to a page like this where you can see all the extensions that have been installed already. There are a bunch of extensions installed here, but only some of them are active. Those are the ones that have the toggle switched on. Now I can decide for each extension whether to turn it off, if it's something I might want to use later, or remove it completely. I'm going to remove this one, which looks suspicious to me. Click on the Remove button, and a window pops up asking for confirmation. If you want to let Google know that you thought this particular extension was deceptive or creepy in some way, click the Report Abuse checkbox. Then click the blue Remove button to dump that extension. Notice what happens when I remove this particular extension. Some extensions will try to convince you to keep them with puppies and flowers, or will present you with questions about why you're removing them like this. They can be pretty aggressive, but remember you don't have to respond just close the tab at the top. Finally, close your browser and reopen it to see the changes take effect. This last step isn't always necessary, but it can't hurt. So just to review, here's how you remove browser extensions in Chrome. Click the dots, then more tools, then extensions, or type Chrome colon slash slash extensions in the address bar and press return. Then Click Remove for any unwanted extensions and Confirm. And finally, close and reopen your browser. This should work for most extensions, but there are a few especially nasty ones that make it more difficult to remove them or to undo the changes they've made to your browser settings. If you have one of those, a quick Google search might help. And if you're really stuck, you can always get in touch with us. Hope this was helpful, and check out our YouTube channel for more useful tutorials. Mm -hmm.